Everything I do, I do it like I've never done another thing ever. I don't have the pressure of what I've ever accomplished on my shoulders when I'm creating. I'm creating just from a place as if I've never done a record. Um, it keeps me fresh, young, new. It keeps me from repeating um, what I do. Since the beginning, hip hop has gone through radical shifts and changes. It's created and adapted to new musical trends and formed dozens of subgenres throughout its history. Across this journey, we've seen countless acts ride the wave of fads then slowly fade from the spotlight. The most difficult task in the industry is relevancy. Today's superstar is tomorrow's one-hit wonder. No one knows this better than Dion, No ID, Wilson. Spotlight, money, whatever, it's gonna go away. 25 years, I've seen them all. I've seen them come, I've seen them go. I've seen the best, I've seen millions, I've seen bankruptcies, I've seen it all. And what we left with is usually, you know, a run-down human being that's been chewed up and spit out. No ID is an industry veteran. With over two decades of producing under his belt, his impressive resume lists artists such as Common, Nas, Vince Staples, and most recently, executive producer on Jay-Z's critically acclaimed 444. So how does No ID continue to keep his name relevant in an age where there's a constant stream of new music and new artists? If you keep yourself in a in a fresh new place, that energy can inspire you. It's the pressure of trying to beat what you've done um, that usually makes you not um, have the capacity to create something you've never done. That's, that's my edge. But keeping a fresh head in space and recreating oneself is easier said than done. One of the most crucial elements to achieving that energy is his appetite for knowledge. I always took education seriously. And once I realized education didn't mean going into a building and, and listening to a teacher only, but it also meant, you know, putting in diligent study, effort, asking questions, learning from old people, young people, never really judging anybody, um, and just being a, a student. No ID studies the greats, most specifically, legendary producer Quincy Jones. Quincy's keen attention to detail, composition, and structure, along with his philosophies towards production, is a tremendous inspiration and no ID. The thing that made me want to get better was I heard a quote by Quincy Jones where they asked him, what do you think about music nowadays? He said, four bar loops. It really affected me. I said, wait a minute, that's not what I want to be a part of. So I went and did some studying with the intention of growing. And that guidance has helped no ID truly question the function of a hip hop producer. The one thing is, um the more I study what I do, it's not that I'm becoming a guru. I'm actually just learning what producing really is because hip hop and technology are confused what producing is. Yeah, people think beat makers are yeah, producers. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's just getting deeper into what that really means. Quincy taught no ID that producing meant more than programming drums or sampling. He learned his true meaning was engaging artists and putting them in situations to get the best out of them. But Jones isn't the only source of influence to no ID's career. He also cites record producer and colleague Jermaine Dupri for teaching them how to read artists and help translate their idiosyncrasies into music. You have to score a human being like you score a movie. You have to look at them, you have to figure it out. That's actually something I learned from Jermaine Dupri. Being able to look at a person, listen to them, watch their conversations, see what they wear, where they go, and say, what's, what's believable? And what does that sonic sound like? What is that? How do you hear that in your head? The same way as if you see a love scene in a movie, how do you hear that musically? The way you see a violent scene in a, in a movie, a suspense scene in a movie, how do you make that come into our audio version to fit a, a human being? Throughout his career, he has applied the lessons taught by his mentors and has continued to grow as a producer. He doesn't just learn from the established industry experts. His development also relies on new artists who force no ID to adapt. I've taken chances and um, have not been afraid to recreate myself and um, take chances with new artists who may not have had the profile to may so work with someone of my uh, accomplishments. But, you know, those things, those are the things that get in the way. You know, you have to stay involved with new, young, fresh people. And, and you have to have 
as little ego as possible in those processes because you know it can damage your ability to, to grow. Working with new artists and learning from those around has kept No ID at the pinnacle of music development. His knowledge of the ever-changing industry has allowed him to adapt and even predict where the trends are heading. Things, things create an appetite in people. And if you know everybody's eating the same thing, you know what they will get tired of, and you know what that will lead them to if you know the nature of why they went from this to this. Um, and then you can start to predict this. You see, growth is the key to relevancy. We listen to artists and musicians for the hit, but we continue to follow them for their journey. If their narrative or their music lacks maturation or a new perspective, we quickly lose interest. The same principle can be said of producing. No ID isn't afraid to pull from every source around him to continue to evolve and redefine himself. These, these are just some of the principles that I've been using to stay around. Uh, it's been over 25 years for me. And it's really difficult to believe, like when I look back to when I first started, a lot, if any of the people that I looked to, you know, as um, the top people are just not around and current. They, you know, they're there, but, you know, to stay current is a really tough task. What up, squad? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching all Deaf Music.